fifth dimension, beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Murder. The killer is Mr. William Feathersmith, a robber baron whose body composition is made up of a refrigeration plant covered by thick skin. In a moment, Mr. Feathersmith will proceed on his daily course of conquest and calumny with yet another business dealing. But this one will be one of those bizarre transactions that take place in an odd marketplace known as the Twilight Zone. this illustrious task 34 years sir that's practically as long as i've been in the building but i didn't start here no indeed i started in a little town called cliffordville i was born in cliffordville both from cliffordville we both put on our pants for one leg at a time and there are the similarity ends I've got everything there is to get, but I'm still hungry. He cried because he had no more worlds to conquer. I wish I could go back to Cliffordville and begin again and start all over. You see, getting it, that was the kick. Good night, Mr. Haggard. Custodian of the top three floors. One minute! You left me up at the wrong floor. This isn't the lobby. How do you do, sir? Who are you? First name's not important. I own this building. I'm aware of that, Mr. Feathersmith. But I'm not aware of you having an office here, whoever you are. I just opened it up. Won't you sit down? Why? Why, because... We've got some business to transact, you and I. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be comfortable. What about this stuff on your door? A very succinct suggestion of the services I render, Mr. Feathersmith. Travel. Time travel. Let me suggest a possible transaction. You say you're bored. You've got everything you want. The pleasure's not in the possession. It's in a desperate struggle to possess. Go on. So let's do this. Let's send you back to Cliffordville and you can start all over again. You send me back in time. Send me back to Cliffordville. But I want to look exactly as I did then. That's number one. Agreed. Number two. I want to have a memory of everything that's occurred in the last 50 years. All very easily arranged. Anything else? Number three, I want that town exactly as it was. When do I start? Just sign this power of attorney, and there's no reason why you can't leave immediately. Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Feathersmith. Yes, well, uh, Mr. Feathersmith here says he'd like to talk to us about uh, inventions. What isn't there? There's everything. There's everything under the sun. And you, Rube, you sit around here fixing tricycle pedals. There's radio. There's television. Plastics. Ever hear aluminum? Aluminum airplanes. I've given you the principle. Now all you have to do is build it. Well, I'll tell you what, mister, you make me a set of blueprints and specifications and I'll build it. Now, look, I am not a crummy draftsman or a two-bit blueprint man. 
I'm a promoter, a financier. I'm going to give you the backing. I've already given you the principle. Now all you have to do is build it. Well, not without blueprints. <laughs> you foggy-headed carriage builders! We can make ourselves eight billion dollars! <laughs> What was that name again? You look out of sorts. I'm a 75-year-old man. Discerning of you. Nothing was mentioned, Mr. Feathersmith, about changing your chronological age. You said you wanted to look 30 which is precisely the way you look. We said nothing about your insides. But this place... You wanted it as it was. Your problem, Mr. Feathersmith, is that you leaped before you looked. <laughs> ah. Well, Mr. Feathersmith, you are what is commonly referred to as being behind the old eight ball. <laughs> look, look, I don't want much... Send me back. Is that what you want? That's all I want. I swear to you, that's all I want. I think I might be able to arrange putting you back in your own time. You understand, of course, that I can send you back to 1963, but it will be as a 1963 predicated on this. What's occurred in the past 24 hours? I, I don't care. I, I don't care. Yes, you want something? Or I was going to clean up, Mr. Hackett. All right, clean up. <laughs> Mr. William J. Feathersmith, tycoon, who tried the track one more time and found it muddier than he remembered, proving with at least a degree of conclusiveness that nice guys don't always finish last, and some people should quit when they're ahead. Tonight's tale of Iron Man and Irony delivered FOB from the Twilight Zone.